Yo, morning guys, morning. You're not used to seeing me wear a snapback. Basically, my hair's got long enough now that I no longer want to uh, have to deal with it. So, we've got something to do today, in today's video anyway. Why don't we just put the car together? First time, right. So, in today's video, um, we're actually gonna be increasing the ride height because as you know, um, powerful cars, with the uh, Focus ST drive shaft issues, it makes sense to have it at a perfect level. I've kind of toyed now with having it standard, h &R lowering springs, slammed on its ass. I don't have to worry about like potholes and um, you know, like sleeping policemen and all that kind of stuff. But all the same, um, there's a couple things that I just want to have the car ready for so that I can actually drive it hard because at the moment I'm like, oh, it's too low. I don't want to wreck the drive shafts, don't want to boost. Oh, it hasn't got block mod, don't want to boost. So, um, basically, it means that I'm uh, increasing the ride height and then uh, this week or next week, get the block mod done. Big roll cage in the back. Would it be sad if I told you I only wanted a roll cage so I could have a GoPro mounted on it to face this way? But no, uh, we've got lots of exciting stuff to do. Um, preparation and it's quite nice weather. So, let's get a move on. We're off to see Alan at your motor club. But anyway, guys, thank you for all the continued support. We'll see you guys soon. Sit back, relax, and for now, enjoy the intro. And let's see if I can actually reach. For God's sake, I can't reach. I can't reach. See you in a bit, guys. Enjoy the intro. Peace. <laughs> Yo guys, so as you can see, we are here again at your motor club, home of Alan. So obviously I'm super relieved that we're here. Basically, like I mentioned in the intro clip, before you saw the actual intro itself, I mentioned that we are going to be increasing the ride height of the car, purely as preventative maintenance to avoid the drive shafts going as I'm running 400 foot pounds of torque. Um, so it just makes sense to get that done. So at the same time, we can assess you know, the condition, make sure it's all done properly. But it's been a while since I filmed with Alan, so I'm glad to be here. So he's just getting the ramp attached now and getting the car up on the lift and we will go from there. So again, be patient and we'll join you very shortly. Honestly, I am so over dodgy wheel nut. You're fine, price is averted, but all the same. I need some new ones. Anyway, let's get these wheels off and uh, go from there. Guys, just a quick one. Lee Lockwood's actually selling his purple Evo. Um, Lee's a friend of mine and he's put his Evo up now for sale for 11 grand. So if you're after a, uh, a purple, nice looking Evo, get in touch with him. A bit of a brain fart that was anyway, but yeah. I saw it on Instagram this morning. Alan, do you want to buy an Evo? Uh, no, my wife would kill me. Yeah? yeah. What's this on the credit card statement? 11,000 quid, you'll know about it. That's it. You all looking healthy in there, boys? Seems okay so far. Right guys, just as we've been taking off the wheels, I have noticed something. So I mentioned to Alan that I'd been having a scraping whenever I was turning, but it was so um, irregular that I kind of didn't really worry about it too much. But just near the air conditioning pump in here, you can see that the, hang on, I don't know how much you can actually see, we try and, there you go. You can see that it's been rubbing and a tiny bit of plastic has actually come off. Interesting that it's done that, but uh, thanks to Alan, he's obviously picked up on it. But yeah, we've got all the wheels off now. So we need to really get the get to adjusting this car and try and have it set up perfectly. Now the only issue is is that I forgot to bring the the little bungs that sit between the spring and what would you call it, Alan? I oh, know the locking colours and perch. The locking colours. Yeah, because we removed yeah. a couple of extra locking collars to get it super low, just to see how low it'd go. But yeah, to bring it back up, we really yeah. I should have I should have bought them, but it's fine, you know. Yeah, um, we can work around it. I've been distracted this morning, so it's okay. <coughs> oh, you're taking off the last one. I did them all, didn't I? Uh, no, no, it's just to run it off so we can lift it off. Okay. It's, you know, it's, it's not tight, so don't worry, we're not about to destroy it. Right, let's get our hands dirty. I'll get the camera on the tripod. We'll go from there. Right, Alan, we need a, a wire brush before we do anyway. Yeah, yeah, clean up the threads. Right. Some but guys, we're going to start off by um, the actual coil itself. We're going to start off by just cleaning it up. Obviously, it makes it a lot easier to be adjusted as well. I've had enough practice doing this. 
Let's see if I can bring you in a little bit closer. Yeah, so I've just got a big wire brush and a small one. Small one's perfect for reaching around the back. Good old reach around. And now Alan's got some lighting for us, which is great. No, you don't need to go too over the top. Just nice to clean it up. You can actually get protective socks that go over the top of these. It literally covers it entirely, so obviously no uh, debris off the road gets involved. But that's something that me and Alan will look into in the future. But let's go around the whole car, get this all done, and uh, we'll join you guys in a sec. To the wisest of wizards, that's a hard word to say, wisest of wizards, what would you recommend before we go ahead and adjust the coilovers? All right, what we've done, you've already gone around and the best thing you can do which is clean the threads so we're not going to drag any crap and that into the rings. Um, measure them all up. So if you've got 30 mil there and you want maybe to go up 10 mil, you've got a starter put, so 30 mil. Make sure you're not crack that one and then wind that one up, bring this out of the body and we'll do, yeah, 10 mil in each corner and see how she sits. Okay, right. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. And uh, I'll remember to ask you later to show me how she sits and then we'll go from there. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, she's sitting, she's sitting pretty. <laughs> right, so, first job, obviously on the front, is to measure the gap between, oh, a bit, a bit much here, Alan. It's a bit too, a bit too much length. Okay, so I mean, we're looking at really three inches. Yeah. So I'll just double check the other side. I'm pretty sure it should be the same, so I'm reasonable it be. Three yeah. inches. Yeah. So really, we want to, I'd say, an inch and a half. That'd be a lot. That's a lot. That's like 30 mil. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, you've got the, the locking there. So obviously the first bit we need to do is start off by cracking this one here. It's the other way, isn't it? <laughs> You've got my tool in your hand. Yeah, but I know. I want your tool in your hand. Thank you. Yeah, it's not far off. You can see lots of grime has built up inside the seams anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's tight as a tight as it's gonna go. You can see that there is a little there. Uh, Got a mark in here where the grime was before. So that's how much we've uh, brought it up. So yeah, I need to go and do that on the other side. Do you reckon we're going to get any ride height difference on the back then without the uh, the collars? If you increase the tension on the damp back, remember we did that last time? Yeah. The car shot up. Hmm. So if we could do that, we'll get a bit of a difference. Pretty much the same. Okay, so Do you want to double check just so just to make sure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should be about right now. <sighs> Do you even lift your? Right, that's it. Front two wheels done. Let's get onto the rears. All right, guys, now to adjust the rear, obviously because we don't actually have the collars that go near the spring down there. We've actually had to send this inside the shock itself even further because for some weird reason, you shorten that, it lengthens the ride height, which is slightly strange. But that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, Alan's just over here sorting out the final side. Remember, this isn't, we don't have the collars here, so we're not exactly setting this up properly. And there will be a video down the line where I get the callovers professionally set up and corner balanced. But for the time being, um, you know, this is very much a learning curve for me, Alan. So we're, uh, you know, obviously he's a qualified mechanic, both on cars and aeroplanes, but at the same time, it's never been something that he's been into, but in callovers on cars. So it's quite fun for us, really, just to sit and have a play and be in an environment, you know, with the tools and everything, that we can uh, try and perfect this. Right, guys, I am using the light. I'm trying my best. What we've done is we've put it in a centimetre and a half inside this. Like I mentioned before, we don't have the necessary tools that used to sit in here. Those are at home. 
so we've done what we can um, messing with the preload itself but hopefully thanks to uh, Alan's help who is over here don't worry Matt we can't see you <laughs> um, hopefully it's all set we can stick the wheels on now and uh, see how it looks yeah yeah hopefully Matt approves as well Matt is always the mysterious man off camera yeah you can never see him the handsome buff be like bearded dude he's that's too like, good looking yeah he's too good looking he doesn't actually want to be on camera yeah. So let's get these wheels on guys, I'll get that sorted now and then uh, we can see how it looks. Let's get a move on and get this done. Is that something you don't want to talk about? No, too. <laughs> um, this, is more... this is the most important part, I'm going to leave the camera set here the way it is, you lower it and uh, we'll hope for the best. Yeah, it might take a few seconds. Guys, the amount of times on this channel I've shown you the car being lowered. What we want is a little bit more ride height on this side and a little bit more ride height on this side. Let's hope for the best. Fingers crossed. Oh, oh. Stay with the finger. It's pretty nice though, to be fair. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Why have you raised the height? You know what, it's the drive shafts. Um, guys, I'm not gonna point Matt at the camera, but when, with these Focus STs front wheel drive, the way that um, when your car gets lowered quite often, I think it changes the angle between the gearbox itself and the drive shafts which can wear the bearings out, which makes them obviously deteriorate faster. So obviously we've lowered this down, and I hate to be honest guys, but I did just really lower it for a video. I felt that there was a niche on the YouTube scene for a Mark II ST to be slammed. So I wanted to be that guy, and obviously I've done that, and now I've lowered it. Um, I've lowered it previously with springs as well. But yeah, in answer to your question, just preventative maintenance really, so that someone like yourself or Alan can jump in the car and I can confidently say floor it without knowing the torque's gonna rip it to shreds. So many people talk about having drive shaft issues. Just thought I'd uh, show you. So that's what we're dealing with on the front passenger side. This is what we're dealing with on the rear passenger side. This is the driver's side rear. And this is the driver's side front. So it's gone up a little bit. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and get these off and let's see how it drives. Guys, thank you yet again. Honestly, right, so earlier, my hands are super greasy, so I'm kind of annoyed that I'm even holding the camera. Earlier, we were working with this, doing bits as usual, and the camera fell off the tripod. Luckily, GC and the PT speed reactions caught the camera and crisis averted, because I've had this camera for like three days. But yeah, car's now done. The ride height is sat at a level that I'm happy with. Now the moment of truth is taking this car and going for a little drive to see how it performs. Um, we've got lots of things to come and this one has been on the list for a while, getting the ride height set. I don't want to sit here and pretend like it's perfect because it's not, but getting it set to a level that I'm slightly more confident to put my foot down. So, like I said, let's get the car off the ramp. We'll move it into a little bit of a bare area around here so that we can see it perfectly and then we'll open up the shutters and we'll go for a drive. Thank you guys for watching. We'll join you guys in the next clip. Hi right, guys, I've had enough of everyone chatting shit in the comments. You watch, I'll break down 10 minutes later. <laughs> How do you guys feel now? Suck on them apples. Right, let's go and get the plastic cover. All right. There we go. The thing is, it's getting it in properly. I would say that way. Go on, go on boy, there we go. How does my front end look now guys? No towing eye in the way. There you go, and go back in the glove box. Chuck that over there. Yo, so Alan's just gonna say goodbye. <laughs> Before we go and look at the ride height, it's gonna go check what it's like outside. Yeah. Do you want to come and have a quick look at the right height just while we're out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll, 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 uh, we'll leave you to it. It looks so much better. Right, guys. So there we have it. That's the right height the ST is currently sat at. What do you think, Mr. Big Man? I think it's time for you to smash another monster. Are you, are you trying to give me back my monster? Yeah, yeah. Is that how it works? That's how it works. Right, so let's do a quick walk around. A little bit more right height, a little bit more clearance. But like I said, guys, as usual, Come check out your motor club. Thank you. you can see the phone number there for any queries relative or local to Plymouth, Devon and Cornwall. And if you want to get more involved with your car, 
this man will help out yeah. and sort you out. Do you have anything to say regarding the company or not? Uh, I love it. It's great. You come on, come play. No, no, no. I don't know. No, no. Just, just come, come down. Fix your car. Work on your car. Get that pride. You know, it's a beautiful thing. Look at it. Right, Alan. Um, we love you. <laughs> As always, I'm sure the viewers do too. I did say we, but all the same. I'm going to go and uh, get some stuff done. I've got some uh, pictures to hang up in the house and some mirrors and stuff. Right, guys, as always, thank you very much for tuning in. Car is complete. I've got the ride height set up. Alan, you're amazing. As always, you've been an absolute star. Thank you. If you like the video, smash the video with a like. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And more importantly, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because all I post about is car shows, car meets, and the Mark II Focus ST. So if that's something you like, stick around for more and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks, Alan. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah, Peace.